Hello YouTube, what's going on? So over the last couple of weeks, if you follow me on anything else other than YouTube, you saw that I interviewed Panic at the Disco and Icona Pop for Yahoo on the Road in Phoenix, Arizona and Clemson, South Carolina. And these two opportunities were given to me by Yahoo on the Road. They paid for everything for me to go and I'm super appreciative of the experiences because Holy crap, they were awesome. I'm all about traveling, as you probably know if you know me. <laughs> Panic of the Disco, I've been a fan of for a long time. And then Iconopop, it, it was so cool. Panic of the Disco, they have I Write Sins, Not Tragedies, and more recently, This Is Gospel. And Iconopop is very famous for their I don't care, I love it. So that's the song I, yeah, you know, everyone wanted to see. Of course, they played that last in the concert. I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I got from it, because you might have seen a thing here and there on social media, but this is where it all happens. So when I'd get to the venue, they'd be doing sound check. I loved Soundcheck because I could just watch them just kind of be them and screw around and not be in performance mode. Kind of my own private concert if you think about it. Oh, Soundcheck was also when I'd be like, oh my god, I need to read my questions over and over girl so I'm gonna mess them up. I've never done anything like this and I've always wanted to so it was really, I was nervous. <laughs> and then the interviews happened and that was the thing. About to do my interview. Interview. This is not Icona Pop. You guys are just sitting in. That's true. <laughs> Here's Icona Pop. Hey. I am here with Brendan Yuri from Panic at the Disco. Hello. How's it going, man? Great. Sitting with Icona Pop. Yay! Yay! We're flying back tomorrow really early because it's Caroline's birthday, so we have a Happy big birthday. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, back to back LA. Back early too. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see you then on the flight. Maybe. <laughs> what is the funniest thing that has ever happened to you on tour? I was knocked out on stage one time by a, a bottle. That was pretty hilarious. Did someone throw the bottle up? Yeah. Reading and Leeds, they just bottle. They just chuck them just to see if you can withstand Tradition? The... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tradition. Do you have any pre-rituals before your show? We have to high-five before every show. Oh. We always high-five. Always, always. Can I get a high-five right now? Of course. Right. It's going to be a good show. You guys met at a party? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is where you came up with the idea for Icona Pop? Yep. Yes. That's insane. Yep. I mean, that, I feel like that's a common <laughs> thing. But how did that transform into success where you're recording an album and getting gigs? It was just a good creative chaos. We met the day after we wrote our first song. Then we kind of locked ourselves into your brother's studio, mm -hmm. uh, called in sick for work and just <laughs> wrote, wrote a lot of music. And then three weeks later, we had our first gig. Gosh. And it's been non-stop. What is your favorite song to play live? My favorite song to play in general that isn't our song is Bohemian Rhapsody. I love playing that oh, song. Oh yeah. yeah, that was really good in soundtrack. Oh, thanks. What is your craziest fan story? Dug into these cookies and I kept like pulling out hairs out of my mouth. I was like, that's just a coincidence. Oh, and then gosh. I started, then I had like half of the, the box and then uh, afterwards I cracked all of them open. They all had hair in them. Wow. Like from your fans? So thanks. Yep. Yes, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been your favorite collaboration so far? I mean, Charlie XX. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we of love course. her. She's amazing She's awesome. and so talented. And then, of course, after the interview, Yahoo made them do the Yahoo sound. Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! And then I would just hang around, walk around the venue a little bit. I'm exploring the venue and I'm backstage. Look at all these things here. So many signatures. It's a cool pathway. In rhythm and music. <laughs> and then the concert. <laughs> The Disco and Icona Pop are both extremely talented performers and I was pretty blown away. Especially being right there in the front, I just didn't really know what to do with myself. I was just like, what is 
happening. Just fun energies. I had such a good time. Thank you, Yahoo on the Road. I want to do more stuff like this. It kind of opened up a path for me of like, I feel like I could do pretty well at hosting and interviewing. I loved the idea that my personality and likability was still important but I wasn't the center of attention. There's something nice about that. I felt like I could bounce off of somebody else. I am extremely lucky to be able to do stuff like this and I'm very grateful. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I wanna let you guys know before I go, my channel's gonna be a lot different here in the next couple of weeks. Just be kind of prepared if I upload something tomorrow or if I don't upload until Thursday or Friday. Just be aware that something is coming. Cool. On that note, make sure you subscribe to see what's gonna happen this week. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day.